Hello Scorpio, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into the person on your mind. We're going to see what their most intimate thoughts and feelings are toward you. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So if you are cross watching, this would be your person's most intimate thoughts and feelings toward you. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. And I do want to give a quick disclaimer. This is an intimate thoughts and feelings reading. So I want to apologize ahead of time if anyone gets offended. All right. Okay. So the overall energy of your person's most intimate thoughts and feelings towards you, Scorpio, we have conflict. I've tried to move on with others, but they haven't been able, but they haven't been able to take my mind off you. Okay. All right, so this person obviously has been trying to move on from you. I do feel as though they have started dealing with others. Um, with hookup being here, I do feel like they've been hooking up with other people to try to replace you or to get you off of their mind, but it's not working, okay? With the hookup card, we have, I don't want anything serious right now, just sex. So whoever they are dealing with, on the side or whoever this person is dealing with, I don't feel like they want a serious relationship with that other person or the other people that they're involved with. They're just hooking up with those people. And I feel like they're doing it to try to get their mind off of you. We also have audacity here. I know I have no right to be jealous of you being with someone else, but I am. So Scorpio, your person is calling themselves out the audacity. OK, the audacity of them. For some of you, you may have moved on from this person or the two of you have been distant. Some of you may not have been talking to this person as much as of lately. For others of you, if you are involved with this person, I feel like or if the two of you are in a relationship, I feel like they get jealous of the thought of you being with someone else, okay? So yeah, this person is basically saying they have a lot of audacity to even get jealous of you being with someone else or the thought of you being with someone else when they're hooking up with other people just to try to get over you, okay? But yeah, we're gonna get more regarding... Um, this person's most intimate thoughts and feelings toward you. But first, we're going to do a little bit of shuffling. On the bottom of the deck, we have crazy. You drive me wild. So I feel like this person, like you drive them crazy. Literally, like you really drive this person crazy. And I feel as though it's mainly because they don't want anyone else to have you. Okay. All right. I heard deep connection. So you may have shared a very deep connection with this person. Give me more spirit in regards to the person that is on Scorpio's mind. What is this person's most intimate thoughts and feelings towards Scorpio currently? Spirit? What is this person's most intimate thoughts and feelings towards Scorpio currently? All right. And guys, like I said, some of these cards can be a little explicit so i want to apologize um ahead of time if anyone gets offended we're all grown so yeah all right so at the bottom of the deck we have conversations i miss our conversations and the sound of your voice so i feel as though and that's why that must be why i heard deep connection because i feel like um this person the two of you share a very deep connection and i feel like you were more than lovers, you're friends, or you were friends, okay? But this person, um, they really miss the sound of your voice and they miss having, they miss conversing with you. I feel as though this person um, felt like there were things that they could confide in you um, about, okay? They could tell you things that they weren't really comfortable telling anyone else. At the bottom of the deck, we have discovery. You are everything I never knew I always wanted. So with this card, I feel like this person has discovered that um, you mean everything to them, okay? You're everything that they could have ever wanted. This card also lets me know that at some point, this person may not have made you feel as though they wanted you, okay? So there may have been a, you know, the love may have been requited at one point in time, but this person has realized that they've fallen for you, okay? That you're everything that they could ever want or need. 
Give me more spirit in regards to this person's most intimate thoughts and feelings towards Scorpio. What are their most intimate thoughts and feelings towards Scorpio? Okay, so we have foreplay, savoring every moment. I'm in no rush. I want you to reach your maximum potential, okay? Wow. All right. So with that card coming out, I feel as though um, for those of you that are being intimate with this person currently, they're trying to give you their best. If you're not currently being intimate with them, if you were to be in the future, I feel as though this person would try their best to give you the best that you've ever had or the best that they've ever done. Okay. Um, that did come out under conflict about them um, trying to move on with others to take their mind off of you. So I feel like um, even when they're with others, they still think about you. OK, they still think about you like it's like they haven't whoever they're dealing with. Those people do not make your person turned on like you. Wow. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have fulfilled. Keep doing what you're doing because I like it. Okay. That just goes to show that whoever they're dealing with currently, whoever it is, they're not fulfilling your person like you did. Okay. And I feel like they're very well aware of that. And they try to, whoever they're dealing with or whoever they're hooking up with, they try their best to give that person their all or their best for that person to actually reciprocate the energy, but it's just not the same. Give me more spirit in regards to what this person, um, what their most intimate thoughts and feelings are towards Scorpio. All right, so we have confession. I keep asking myself, why am I so afraid to tell you how I feel when I have already admitted it to others? So this person has admitted to you well to others they've already admitted to others how they truly feel about you but for some reason they're afraid of being vulnerable okay they're afraid of that and so that's why this card came out under hookup it's mainly because this person has this deep deep attachment to you so they don't even want anything serious with anyone else like they're stuck on you they're stuck on you, Scorpio. At the bottom of the deck, we have curious. I'm wondering if you miss me as much as I miss you. Wow. So they miss you a lot and they wonder if you miss them. We also have stress right next to that. I'm having personal problems right now that is taking all of my attention. So if this person has been distant as of lately, it's because they have a lot of personal problems. And that's where this conversations card is coming in. At. I feel as though this person was able to share some things that they were going through. Okay. And with you not being around or with you being distant, they miss being able to share things with you because they don't feel comfortable sharing those things that they're going through with other people. Okay. So there's something that's stressing this person out. That's taking a lot of their attention. Okay. Give me more spirit in regards to this person's most intimate thoughts and feelings for Scorpio. All right. So we have come here. Okay. Come here. Come here, Scorpio. <laughs> All right. So um, this card says pulling you from one side of the bed to the other. All right. So for some of you, your person may have said that to you before. They may have told you or text you like, come here, like, like, come here. OK, regardless of whether they've said it to you or not, this person wants you. They want you, even though um, they feel as though you may be dealing with someone else. They want you. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have commitments. I need and and want you around for every day to start. I need and want you around for every day to start. Wow. So this person actually wants a commitment with you. So if you're no longer dealing with them, they still want to be with you. They're wishing that they could start every day off with you. Like, I feel like because I keep hearing energy, energy. So I feel like this person just likes your energy. They love having you around. Okay. 
You wouldn't want to wake up to someone that makes you miserable. You wouldn't want to wake up to them every day, right? So there's something about your energy that's different from anything else they've experienced. Give me more spirit in regards to what this person, um, what their most intimate thoughts and feelings are towards Scorpio. All right. So we have ecstasy, love to run. <laughs> okay. I can't read today. Excuse me. Ecstasy, love to run my fingers softly while you sigh. Okay. So this person misses touching you. They want to touch you. At the bottom of the deck, we have attraction. All I'm thinking about right now is how attracted I am to you. Yeah, they're very attracted to you. I feel like they just want to touch you. They miss caressing you. They, I heard hugs. They may miss hugging you. <sighs> wow. Okay. Give me more spirit in regards to this person's most intimate thoughts and feelings towards Scorpio. What are their most intimate thoughts? Crazy. That card came out again. You drive me wild. So this person is saying again that thoughts of you drive them crazy. At the bottom of the deck, we have magic. There's magic in your eyes that I feel in my heart. So this person is very attracted to your eyes. Now, for some of you, this person may have done some spell work or manifestation on you through the eyes. Okay, maybe through your photos or something of that nature. For some of you, they may not realize they're doing it. For others of you, they know exactly what they're doing. Um, for others of you, and there may be someone in the mix, one of these hookups that has, you know, cast a spell or that's trying to manipulate your person's energy. Regardless, um, if you know that and that's not for everyone, you'll know if that's for you as far as the magic. But um, if you do not resonate with that message, I feel as though there's just something about your eyes. Like, this person really likes your eyes. All right. Give me one more card, Spirit, in regards to this person's most intimate thoughts and feelings towards Scorpio. What is this person's most intimate thoughts? Okay. So we have, hmm, how did you get all that in those jeans? <laughs> Okay, so they like your bottom. Whether you're a male or female, this person, oop, I just got a thought. Okay, and we're all grown. I've already given the disclaimer. So for the females, all right, if you're a female, this person likes your bottom, okay? They like it. They like it. Whether you feel as though it's big or small or it's just right for them, all right? For if you are a male, when it comes to your centerpiece, okay? They're wondering how you're zipping all of that up in those jeans, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have wanting. I need some discipline tonight. So this person is, the, they have a deep desire um, for you. Right behind that is sizzling. When I think about you, I touch myself. So this person is thinking a lot about you and I feel as though they relieve themselves. Um, when they, you know, with thoughts of you, possibly even photos of you with the eyes, um, the card, where was it about your eyes? Um, I don't even see it anymore. It probably was on the bottom of the deck, but there's something of the magic card about your eyes. Okay. So yeah, this person, um, they're that like, they just truly desire you. Okay. And I feel like <sighs> this is the type of person, like, I feel like whether you're dealing with them currently or whether the two of you were dealing with each other intimately in the past, this person would start acting out whenever the two of you went too long without being intimate. If you haven't been intimate with this person at all, they're really fiending for you, okay? Like this, like Jodeci, this person is fiending, okay? Wow, okay. All right, well, Scorpio, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so much. You take care, be safe. Until next time, bye.